Hello, this is Navdeep from Requestly and today we'll learn how to use remote debugging with Requestly. Believe it or not, debugging JavaScript on production sites is still quite hard. But not if you use Requestly. Using Requestly, you can swap off your production JavaScript with your locally served dev version and start debugging. For today, let's take the example of tmobile.com. If you open the network tab and refresh, we see that it is requesting an Adobe target script. I've already downloaded this script and unmodified it. I also have it being served with a simple Python server over here. So let's see how we can use Requestly to swap these files. Create a new rule and click on new redirect rule. Give it a simple name. Inside the source tab, enter the source URL of the original resource. In the destination, enter the URL of the locally served file. Save the rule and let's go back and test this. If we reload, we see that the request is now redirected. Let's just add a few breakpoints to do some simple debugging over here. You see that I've also added a custom console log. Now if I refresh, we say that the breakpoint is hit and if we see console, the custom log is printed. And this is just a simple example. You can use this for a lot more. Requestly makes remote debugging easier than ever before. You can use it not just to swap files, but also to add headers to trigger custom behaviors, to insert scripts, to test third party integrations without ever injecting any code into your site. And you can even share your debugging techniques with your friends, all while creating simple rules. Hope this helps you debug your sites easily with Requestly. Happy debugging. Bye-bye.